It is my pleasure to share with you the captivating story of Shiro Emiya, the hero of justice and a legendary figure in the various Fate series timelines. Prepare for an engaging journey filled with twists and tragedies. You may already be familiar with Shiro Emiya from the Fate series, as he is the protagonist of one of the most popular adaptations. However, there is much more to this legendary figure that you have yet to discover. So, get ready to uncover the secrets and mysteries surrounding the Hero of Justice. Let's embark on our journey with a question. What made Shiro Emiya become a counter-guardian? How did he die? Why does he want to kill his own past? These are just some of the questions we will answer as we explore Shiro Emiya's story. At the end of the Fifth Holy Grail War, Shiro and Saber destroyed the Holy Grail together. However, they soon parted ways, as Shiro couldn't help Saber fulfill her wish. Instead, Shiro went to London with Rin to study magic. There, he became obsessed with the idea of becoming a hero of justice. He already had this desire, but now he was determined to achieve it. He worked as a mercenary mage, but despite all his training and experience, his powers were not as strong as he had hoped. However, he persevered and faced corrupt entities like Alamani, which were much more powerful than him. In a moment of crisis, Shiro found himself in a situation where a hundred lives were in danger, and he realized that with his current powers, he couldn't save them. It was at that moment that Elia appeared and offered Shiro absolute power in exchange for his service as a counter-guardian after death. But what is Aliyah, and what does it mean to be a counter-guardian? Aliyah represents the collective will of humanity to survive. It is one of the two parts that make up the counterforce, the other being Gaia, which represents the Earth's will to survive. Aliyah acts solely based on the existence of humanity, while Gaia doesn't hesitate to destroy humanity if the planet is in danger. The counterforce is an instinctive response that prevents the world's destruction by summoning superpowered beings, the counter guardians, to restore balance. However, the way they do this is rather brutal. When Alaya perceives that humanity is on the brink of destruction, it sends an agent to eliminate the threat, sparing nothing and no one in the area. Unfortunately, Shiro accepted the deal with Alaya and used his divine powers to save humanity but the cost was terrible. He repeatedly killed, leading to an unknown number of victims, possibly in the millions. This wasn't just killing the guilty, it was mass slaughter, and it was this action that haunted him. Over centuries as an agent of Alaya, Shiro committed countless acts of violence and destruction. He witnessed the darkness of humanity and the brutality of life. Eventually, he realized that his quest for justice was futile. It was impossible to save everyone, and he was destined to kill repeatedly on behalf of humanity. The pain of this existence consumed him, and he found himself in an endless cycle of murder and remorse. He reached a point where he could bear it no longer and desperately wished to find a way to end this existence as a counter-guardian. It was at that moment that he saw an opportunity. If he were summoned as a servant during the Fifth Holy Grail War, and killed his past self before making the contract with Aliyah. It would create a temporal paradox that would prevent him from becoming a counter-guardian. He would finally have a chance to escape his dark fate. And so Shiro was summoned as Archer in the Fifth Holy Grail War, and his journey in search of redemption and freedom began. However, the timeline in which he becomes a counter-guardian and the timeline in which he is summoned as Archer are alternate universes. This prevents him from being trapped in an infinite cycle. As for the circumstances of his summoning, Shiro was summoned as Archer due to the use of a jewel that Rin used as a catalyst during the summoning ritual. However, his memories of his previous life are vague, with only the memory of Saber and the day he was saved by Kiritsugu. But why did his appearance change over time? His skin darkened, his eyes and hair turned white. This was due to the constant use of projection magic and the use of his own body as material to create projections. The famous phrase, I am the bone of my sword, had a literal meaning as his own cells were used in projection magic. As for his altered form, we still have no answers. It's a mystery that remains unsolved. 
Thus, we conclude our journey through the past, and Shiro Amiya's journey as a counter-guardian transformed into a heroic spirit. A story filled with tragedy, redemption, and complexity. Now that we have delved deep into the story of Shiro Amiya, we can explore his abilities and noble phantasms, but that's a story for another day. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration and look forward to more fate-related content. With that said, thank you for watching and until next time.